And here's where we start. Opioids aren't the only drug problem the U.S. is dealing with right now. The DEA says more meth is being smuggled into this country. And that meth is making its way onto Northeast Ohio streets. News 5's Tracy Carlos in the newsroom with this story. Tracy? Rob and Danita, some officials worry that meth could become as big of a problem as fentanyl. It is white, bitter, and powerful. 100% it's being pushed by the cartels. Methamphetamine is coming from Mexico, headed right here to Northeast Ohio. Recent statistics from the Drug Enforcement Agency show seizures of meth at the Mexican border increased from 8,900 pounds in 2010 to nearly 82,000 pounds last year. But still, with the seizures at the border, DEA Assistant Special Agent in charge of the Cleveland office, Keith Martin, told me, agents seized the largest amount of the drug ever in the state's history. We seized approximately 142 pounds of meth, which is a big seizure for this area. It's more of a border-type seizure than a seizure you would typically see in the Cleveland or even Ohio area. The Ohio State Highway Patrol has seen a similar increase in meth seizures on Ohio roads since 2010. While opioids have reached epidemic levels, meth use has continued on a steady increase. Methamphetamine is a horrible drug. Dr. Baruch Fertel is on the front lines in the Cleveland Clinic Emergency Department. I would say it hasn't reached epidemic proportions yet, but anecdotally, we're definitely seeing patients who are using meth when in the past couple of years, I haven't seen very many. Martin said 15 years ago, law enforcement across the country was seizing about 15,000 meth labs a year. Now, that number's down to about 1,000. People aren't willing to take the risk to make it, and it's really cheap to buy. And an Ohio University study found the number of people who died from an overdose in Ohio, that number jumped from nine in 2010 to 517 in 2017. In the newsroom, Tracy Carlos, News 5.